Hello everyone, we continue our series of educational videos and in today's video we'll provide another portion of ODA basic terms. As you remember, database is a representation of the model in memory, thus all the model related capabilities belong to core functionality. Additionally, all common database functionalities also belong to core functionality. Core functionality itself gets a deeper dive in what we are doing and introduces all the basic classes, arrays, methods and etc. necessary for model processing and processing of the database. As you remember, in the previous video, we mentioned that there is a set of elements that require external support. We mentioned fonts as part of models, but the same refers to raster images, all the objects and point cloud objects. So it's necessary to pay attention that object support is also a part of ODE platform basics. Model data consists of two parts, geometry and parameters. Geometry data is used for the actual representation of the model. And it may be done in two ways, visualization of the geometry data on screen or export the geometry data to some other format. At this step, we'll provide the following information about the ODA visualization. First of all, ODA visualize capabilities are available at two levels, low and high. The next item, ODA supports different visualization devices and you can pick up the one that fits your needs, DirectX, GLS2 and etc. Export of the geometry data and in some cases auxiliary data is also OD basic capability. The current list illustrates the list of available exports for the major part of the formats supported by ODA. Now, getting deeper into the core ODA capabilities, let us have a look at the kernel archive content. As you see, the diagram illustrates the dependencies of the models starting from the topmost. The lower the model is located, the more dependencies it has. Speaking of the object support models, the left column, we need to pay attention that the list of dependencies is more or less the same and just excludes the TDGS model. So, if you are going to support and visualize elements, please be ready to include all those list of elements in your application. Okay, as a self-check, today on top of the terms we introduced in the previous videos, we introduced the following core capabilities, objects and geometry support, and the dependencies between models.